Ang journey ko to farming started when I was a little girl sa aking backyard sa Staten Island. I would dig up worms at dinadala ko ito sa dock kung saan naman kami nagfe-fishing. Pero hindi ko natatandaan na may nahuhuli akong isda. Siguro, ang ibig sabihin nun, hindi ako magaling na fisherman. So maybe ang totoong calling ko ay hindi para mang isda, kundi mang bukid. Kasi nga, nasa dugo ko. And perhaps, the earlier and real reason ay ang pamilya ng nanay ko ay farmers. Pagkatapos mag-asawa ang mga magulang ko, I was conceived, born, and then raised on their farm. Yes, our farm in Quezon. Kaya importante para sa akin to go back to my roots to see how to revitalize our land. Ang lupain namin na punong-puno ng coconuts. Sa mga travels ko sa Pilipinas, including Bicol, Cebu, at most recently Bacolod and Dumaguete to name a few, ang dami kong nakikilalang farmers from flowers to herbs, vegetables, fruits, sugarcane, nuts, livestock, insects, pati mga smaller mom and pop organic growers. Lahat may intention to diversify their crops and cultivate ang age-old art of farming. Hindi po ko expert and I'm sure those of you who are watching, you're probably wondering like me, saan tayo mag-uumpisa? Well, aside from Sonia's garden and my friends like Isabel Rivas, Lorna Tolentino, who both have beautiful farmland growing mangoes, chickens, dragon fruit. Ang wish ko rin naman talaga ay maging self-sustaining katulad nila. And speaking of self-sustaining efforts, nagkaroon din ako ng chance na umikot ng little island of Balisin. Who's the CEO? Ang sosyal ng ride. <laughs> Kung saan sila nagpa-farm ng vegetables, fruits, salt, fish, crab, shrimp, and honey. Pero ang totoo, it's all these places that inspired this video. Here are some of the things that I've learned. Ang first at pinaka-importanting step para sa outdoor planting and so you can properly choose kung ano yung tama at ano yung would best grow sa inyong lupa ay So, probinsya ko, nagtanong kami sa munisipyo ng soil analysis where they will get samples and analyze the texture, pH, and other important factors. Depending on the type of crop you want to plant, magre-recommenda sila ng types of fertilizer, amounts, and paraan sa paglagay. Dalawang klaseng fertilizer. Ang inorganic, comprised of minerals and synthetic chemicals, at ang organic, made out of farm animal manure, decaying leaves, or food compost. Ang pinakamura ay decaying leaves, kung saan mo lang ibababad ang mga dahon sa tubig, pagkatapos ibabaon sa lupa. Ang pinaka-popular na composting na nakita ko sa Pilipinas ay ang vermicomposting na kung saan certain species of earthworms are used para mag-process ng organic waste to become fertilizer. Kinakain ng earthworms ang livestock waste, organic food waste, leaves, stalks, weeds, etc. It passes through their digestive system and out comes ang tinatawag na vermicompost kung saan dinadagdag sa lupa para maging rich ang soil and full of nutrients. So now we're going to enter the nursery where all the baby plants are and actually where the plants are born. So, katulad nito, this is lettuce, and 
see how the um, you see see how it started to sprout already so itong mga sprouts na to ibubukod pa and they'll be placed in a larger tray so as they grow bigger ihihiwalay sila because this is an individual plant bawat sprout so from here so the, the seeds are planted it's watered and then after a few days once they come up pag pumutok na siya yan ililipat na sa mga ganitong container see these are seeds still they're being covered right now para hindi mainitan ang requirement ng seed at seedling ay water oxygen light and proper temperature to germinate and grow kapag handa na kayo magrepot or itanim ang inyong seedling i-prepare muna ang soil with compost or fertilizer at pwede rin magdagdag ng coconut pit sa soil para ito ay lumago ito naman is what the soil looks like when it's freshly tilled and dito naman pwede na maglagay ng mga bagong stem and as you can see there's a lot have been planted over on the other and on the other end so this is where the new stems are being uh, replanted to actually grow uh, in the plot and then for this varieties romaine lettuce they separate it about two and a half inches from each other kasi bubunga pa yan ng it will occupy about this much space So this is the citrus area where we'll be planting oranges and more calamansi. We're going to learn how it's done. Outdoor plants naman, nagva-vary ng watering amounts and techniques. Pero kapag ginawa nyo, you should saturate the soil through. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng nasa paligid ng halaman o ng puno ay basang-basa. Then, wait hanggang matuyo siya. Then, add water again. And tip, better to water sa umaga between 5 to 9 a.m. Minsan, mapapansin natin na may mga growth or fungus ang ating mga dahon. Ito kailangan putulin agad or iprune. Pero kapag napansin nyo na itong fungus na to ay nasa pinakatangkay, itong halaman na ito ay kailangan ng bunutin at sunugin dahil meron na po siyang sakit at baka mahawa ang ibang nasa paligid. Ang tinatawag nilang neem plant or neem tree ay isang natural herb. Ito ay ina-apply sa mga plants to control pests and insects. So this is what it looks like when they're ready for harvest. And ito naman yung basil na sinasabi ko kanina. This basil is the sweet basil or Thai basil and the ones like this with this little flowering stem is the Italian basil which is a very uh, stronger flavor. Then the arugula is growing, the chives, the mint, and more basil over here. So, malaking malaking project ang mag-start ng farm from scratch. At dahil hindi naman talaga ako handa pa mag-big scale farming, nag-decide muna ako na mag-start ng my own little planting sa bahay. 
at dahil nakatira lang ako sa condo at maliit ang space, I looked at the basics of hydroponics na kung saan hindi kailangan ng lupa and found several ways to grow my own veggies and herbs. Kung interesado kayo sa hydroponics, pwede nyo panoorin ang vlog ko, Hydroponics 101, dito sa aking YouTube channel. The link is found in the description below. So this is my oregano plant and also my uh, rosemary. Now, nag-start ako sa ganitong klaseng seedling lang and I repotted it outside and eventually nagustuhan naman niya yung ano yung um, temperature dito sa labas at yung araw and I always use these herbs for cooking. Now, um, this is my first attempt. Yung ibang halaman ko, uh, yung ibang arugula ko and everything they uh, they thrived pero nakain ko. Ang mali ko was that I actually took too much off of the plant kaya namatay sila. So this right here is the vegetable and herb composting tower. Now, bakit po siya composting tower? Dahil meron po siyang lagayan ng mga worms dito sa loob. As you can see, it already has food trimmings. Pero dadagdagan ko po para mapakita ko sa inyo. And that's basically what the worms eat. So we put our trimmings inside. Yung lahat ng balat ng mga prutas at saka ng gulay go in there. Yan. Ang pagdilig ng itong tower is simply you start from the top and you water it all the way across until all of the soil is moist. This is actually the second time that we're watering it kaya we're only going to do it very lightly. And then, ilalagay ulit natin yung plangga, yung plangganita underneath so it, it will collect the water. So here is the water. And that comes. And this is full of really um, nutritious water from the worms and from the soil. So ito naman, ang gagamitin ko pang dilig ng mga halaman ko dito. And at the same time, it also has, parang it's an anti-insecticide. Um, anti so lahat ng mga flying and crawling bugs, mawawala din dito sa balcony. This one is dry. Let's put it here. My chili needs also some. Hindi pa namin naripot itong chili. But we will. And this is uh, our ginger. Ang sabi ng helper ko, it's ready actually to harvest. So, meron na pa lang kaming ginger. This one, I'm not sure what this one is. Pero, this one reminds me na kailangan ko maglagay ng calamansi tree dito. So, I'm also going to be having fruit trees, um, fruit-bearing plants, and more in my garden. I'm going to teach you the tricks of the trade and everything that I learned in my next video. Kaya abangan nyo po ang part 2. Remember, you can do whatever your mind sets on doing. Where you direct your thoughts, the energy will flow. Laugh, learn, empower, and inspire. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi guys! Thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification button so you can get the latest videos of mine.